Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Duffy Duck here once again, and I'm back for some more of the Maxi Toys videos, and ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my play of Mario Party Advance for the Game Boy Advance. So last time we actually did finish up the, uh, the forms of Shroom City, and we've managed to be able to accomplish the final three quests that we've done, which at the same time we actually did play as um, both Yoshi and Peach respectively, for those final two main quests before the true final quest in the game. And as a result, Shroom City is finally back to its normal state, and even then, uh, let's just say this right now, I'm probably not gonna touch that mode ever again. I'm gonna tell you that right about now. So today for this episode, folks, is the fact that we're gonna be anticipating for this next mode in this particular game has to offer, and that's the forms of the Challenge Land. And I'll get into the part, uh, play land, in the very end, but again, I'm probably not going to be showing off the forms of party lands because, you know, it's just basically you're playing through the exact same mini games over and over again, but except you're actually going to be doing with 100 mini games all in one run. But in forms of, I would say, um, I'm guessing this might be so, but in forms of, well, 100 for the mini game mode and the other 100 for the mini game attack or something like that. So, there's no point for me to just uh, showcase off from that, and there's also a multiplayer Game Boy Advance Keeper Link uh, system, all that stuff. But you simply just have to go through endless amount of mini games, so that's all you really have to say about this for this point right there. So, anyways, enough about this little explanation. So let's get into, get into the challenge land, own coins, and a variety of mini games. So, let's get into it. Hello, welcome to Challenge Land. It's fun. I hope you own lots of coins. Now you can play the minigame attack, try it. Which, yeah. You have more games in a game room. Now you can play Dual Dash. And finally, you can now play, um, Bowser Land. So yeah, this is what, how the actual, um, challenge mode is, uh, itself looks like. We have to go through, um, four of those modes entirely, which we have, you know, minigame attack, game room, Dual Dash, and finally Bowser Land, including the likes of this particular icon over there, which, um, that could be used for something, as you can see right there on the top of the screen, there's actually a coins counter, because even then, no, I'll explain more details onto those particular, um, stuff once we're able to actually get into it, so on the other hand, though, so let's just go ahead and get started with the forms of- I'm actually gonna be going through two modes for this point today, because even then, no, I'll tackle for the other two when we get to the next video, so as promised, we'll play as Luigi in this particular mode. So yeah, the minigame attack, as far as the actual, um, uh, main mechanic of this uh, mode is concerned. You go through 15 of those mini games to your disposal, and every time you win one of those mini games, then depends on what, how much coins you've earned, then you would able to reclaim your reward. You can either just simply just able to play around, or just simply just able to, well, get your uh, larger amount of coins you can get. And I believe the maximum coins you can only get up to is the forms of 100,000 coins. So. That was the only maximum coins you can able to reach up for. So even then, no, I'm actually going to be taking a challenge to able to actually go through every single mini games house to offer, though. Well, to be more specifically, 15 of those mini games. So, uh, let's get started by the forms of um, Melon Frolly, because even then, no, I just feel like it might go really, really quick. And yeah, yes, yeah, so there's also the R button that usually stands for you can able to use a card for, which I don't know what that used for. Though, I wonder, but hey. Alright, so let's get started by the forms of, um, Melon Folly, and as you can tell right there, the minigames themselves are a lot more harder than the likes of the normal, uh, regular counterparts, because as you can see right there, we've actually gone to the actual bigger obstacles in the forms of the actual Melon Folly, and then all you have to do is as well, the goal is pretty much exactly the same though, but it's just how the fact that you, the only thing you need to learn about this is the fact that you need to be right on with that specific, um, you know, the grid hopping um, system, which even then, though, in that, um, you could potentially try to able to land on those particular platforms before you're able to actually nap the, um, the piece of watermelon and all that stuff, or perhaps maybe melon slices or something like that, but I digress. Uh, let's do build bounce. There's no way I'm not gonna be doing floor it again, because even then, though, that can get pretty tiresome to me. But, hey, uh, at least we can able to do build bounce as it is. Okay, so the goal in this, this time around though, is to be able to reach to 2,500 points, or in this case, 2,500 points. And as you can tell right there, the time itself has actually got a plenty this time around though, it's up to 60 seconds. So, at least, at least the time is very, very uh, generous with you, if you manage to have it yourselves here, you know, 
Because originally in the forms of the Bill Bounce minigame, uh, normally you just get like 30 seconds to start off with, but thankfully though, that um, it does have double amount of seconds this time around though, so, you know, very generous and very, uh, you know, kind to me, so, anyways. As you can tell right there, I'm still going to get screwed over by the forms of my momentum skill base, and even especially noticeable how the fact that my jumps can get a little bit more... Well, a bit floaty in my honest opinion though, but I, at least we managed to still accomplish it, no matter what. So yeah, um, as you can tell that Toad was actually the host of this particular mode, as far as you expect it, so even then though, that, yeah. Okay, so next up we're gonna go up to 300, and let's go ahead and do... Uh, fling shots. There's no way I'm gonna do crushed ice though, because crushed ice might be really difficult for me though. And in this particular minigame, we have to go reach to 9,000 meters. So, let's see if I can just accept the f this fact. Whee! I don't love doing that. Although, Conveniently enough though, today was actually forms of um, the 7th of, um, you know, 7th of June 2018, so that means we've only got about, um, I would classify for saying we've only got about like 5 more days left until the forms of, um, you know, Nintendo E3 2018, or in this case 4 days left until the Square Enix, uh, Nintendo, uh, Square Enix E3 uh, press conference is going to showcase, especially with Microsoft and even, um, Sony PlayStation for that department right there, so that will be a plenty of good chances to be able to actually bump into Kingdom Hearts 3 because of, you know, Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be only be released on both the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Still no sign for the Nintendo Switch version though, but I digress. Let's do um, drop in because that can go pretty quickly and fast. Even though despite the fact that we have to do with all this little, um, you know, this little, um, Pachiko stuff here and there, but uh, at least we can able to accept this fact. Oh, so there goes my first coin, and second time's a charm, so how about that then, huh? And, uh, deserve 10 coins, thank you. As far as you already know something right from the start, though, is that your coins now actually start things off with 50 this time around, though, which is quite large, though, considering how the fact that back in during the likes of the normal run-through of drop-in, uh, basically, you start things off with 30 coins or something like that, although I may be wrong about that, but I digress. Uh, let's just do, uh, Chainsaw, because that can go pretty quickly as well. And let's see what opponents we're facing off against. Talk about the devil. Here she is right here. Probably she might as well get ourselves a little bit of a vengeance going on, going on right there at this point in time. But at least we can able to actually just do is no problem though, despite the fact that you need to be really uh keep an eye out with the forms of, you know, the sweaty marks all over you. Or in this case the sweaty effect. So if that's the case then if you manage to sweat too much, then you have to do it very, very accurate and slowly. So you can then know if that's the case, then there she goes. Ooh wee. That was a bit too easy for my honest God for taste for that kinds of situations and all that stuff. I'm not 100% sure on that to be specifically what I was trying to say right there. But anyways, though. Alright, so let's see what's next. So we had uh, minigame attack number 6. So now we've reached to 1,500. So let's go for... Um... Yeah, let's just do out of my way. So instead of like boo -bye, because that can go pretty chaotic going on here. Oh, this is going to be an ultimate challenge right there. But I'm sure I managed to be able to actually just uh, get this kind of stuff going. So even though, let's go ahead and just dodge those uh, thwomps. Or in this case, just thwomps even, sorry. What we meant to just say here is the fact that... What I should probably explain about this actually is that it's been a long while since we actually played this mini game, basically. Because, you know, we have to go through... You know, the majority of the repeated minigames all of the goddamn time, like the forms of, you know, Floyd and everything like that. Like, I was just like, I'm pretty tired of that minigame though, because our Floyds can get pretty drag on at times. But I think that's a perfect, ex perfect example of how the fact that there's no reason why I'm not going back to that minigame ever again, because of how the fact that how um, tedious that was sometimes, so... Anyways though... 
Alright, so that's what you're supposed to do. Just don't uh, shove the thump all the way to the edge though, because you might as well gonna get yourself screwed over. So, speaking of which, you don't you do only have like one chance to able to actually do those challenges like this, because if you do manage to mess everything up. Uh, you basically have to do the entire minigame attack again, so with that being said, and plus there's no way you can be able to get yourself some of your coins and rewards, so that's one thing I should point in, pointing things out, so anyways, let's see what's next here, so we actually are on stage 7, or in this case, you know, just minigame attack 7, and this time let's go for... Uh, let's do Barrel Peril, because we can't be bothered to do a switch way, um, again, because we already played this, like, several times already, including the likes of, um, you know, we actually gone for that specific minigame with, um, Peach in, um, Shroom City, so. And plus, it might take forever, though, to be able to finish that minigame, including the likes of Watch Him, too, because even then, I Watch Him, although, I would appreciate if I were to able to actually do Watch Him, but... It's just how the fact that how difficult that can be, so even then, oh yeah. I guess there's noticeable differences here, as you can see right there, is the fact that, you, as you can tell, there's gonna be a lot of obstacles getting in your way sometimes this time around, though, especially with these little sheds and all that stuff. So even then, oh, that can get a little bit more tricky, but honestly, still looks pathetically easy as far as you expect it to, at least as far as for my skills, as, as far as I've improved upon. But anyways, though. So... Again, there's not much else to say about this, because even then, though, that, uh, well, not much else to really think about, because still, I'm really excited to be able to actually just to see how Nintendo E3 2018 is going to be involved in within, and plus, not to mention, though, I just want to get this game finished before you're able to actually, before, you know, the next Mario Party game is fully announced or something like that, well, still, I wasn't really entirely sure about this yet, though, so, real cheap. Okay, so in this particular minigame, this time around those to be able to own, or aim, rather, for the 700 uh, pounds fish, so, or in this case, a cheap cheap, rather, so, that's not the one I, d no, that's not the one I need, although, besides, I just want to get that anyway, but it's not enough. Alright, come on, there we go. And if we've done this little quick time impresses, and boom, there we go. That's not too bad, honestly, when it comes to the actual minigame itself like this. Although, sure, it's purely simple and self-explanatory right there, especially with these button commands. Always trying to, you know, trying to utilize the L and R button, so that's all I can really say about this here, so... Alright, 7500, so let's see what's next. Um, probably not gonna go for Sea Monkey again, but I might as well do Spooky Spike instead. And it's especially noticeable that I just don't want to do, like, a uh, forest jump again, because you know how I feel like how the fact that forest jump is really, really damn difficult. I gotta tell you that right about now. Alright, so this time around, though, we're gonna have to spike 15 of those valley balls, and I'm pretty sure that in the original mode, or the, the original uh, minigame like this, is that you have to go for, like, 8 or 10, but I'm not exactly sure, because I missed count on that. And plus, not to mention, though, it's been a... Short while after playing this minigame right here, ever since in the likes of Shrimp City, because again, keep on playing the exact same repeated minigames over and over again, like which way, and especially noticeable with the forms of um, Floret, and even uh, Barrel Pearl, and um, Broom Zoom. Well, I don't mind Broom Zoom, because that Broom Zoom is actually really easy though. And um, talk about for that edition, we actually reached to 10,000. Let's see if I can get higher and higher I can get. Uh, let's go for, um, on a spot, because I feel like it's this this one's really, really easy and quick. Especially noticeable how the fact that, um, I guess during the timer itself is now going to be decreasing to, oh, in this case, well, originally it was 30 seconds to begin with, but now it's size to divide it into two, makes it to 15 seconds this time, so even though uh, this is mainly due to how the fact that how, um, Hard this can be for the forms of minigame attack, and even especially noticeable with the forms of um, um, any other modes in challenge mode, which we'll get to that in a, in a second. Well, to be more specifically, by the forms of um, uh, dual bash or uh, dual dash, rather, and especially with the Bowser Land, which I'll show those two off in the next video. So, I'm probably not going to show this off and during just about an, an, at any moment's notice. So, there we go, we've accomplished it. 
Hooray for Luigi! Well, at least for Luigi as far as the actual, um, well, the green plumber after all. So, let's see what's up next then, huh? Alright, so we got ourselves... Ooh, we got 15,000. So let's go ahead and do... Um... Yeah, why not? I'm also gonna go, go for watch him. Oh, yeah, I might as well do watch him. Because I really can't guarantee to do, um... Uh, Cooper Curl, and especially noticeable with the forms of, um... Uh, Trap Floor, because those two minigames will take a little bit long time, though. Alright, so... Bet for one coin, please, Cooper. Obviously, you're in the center. And we'll shuffle it again. And let's see what you're at. You're at... The right. Nice one. And now, for the third and final attempt, let's say... Oh, I got mes mes you know, mesmerizing. But I... Right, again. So, there we go then. Pure simple. Alright, so we've actually almost nearly towards the end of the forms of uh, minigame attack. So with that being said, I'm pretty sure we've only got about four more stages left. So with that being said, let's move on to stage number 12. So 25,000. And for this, let's go and do Shell Stack. No, not Cooper Crunch or Tank Down or anything like that. So Shell Stack as it is. So let's get to it. I should probably explain about this actually, is that the fact that I've recently managed to play myself uh, LEGO Harry Potter uh, Remastered Collection on the PlayStation 4 recently. And I've recently managed to go on through um, the first half of the forms of the Flusterous Stone segment of the forms of years one, um, years 1 to 4 segment of the forms of, you know, Harry Potter PS4 Remastered Collections. Which even I know that, um, yeah. That sometimes that game can get a little bit longer than as far as I expected it would be, but even then though, I'm actually in a really good progression, so... I have no idea why I just say that right there, because, again, I'm easily running out of ideas when it comes to, um... News, updates, and all that stuff, well, besides, well, you know, E3 2018 will be good, well, it's gonna be really, really close, even for five days away from it. Or, perhaps it's maybe because of how the fact that, well, I don't know exactly for sure for that really, though, so... Cloud Climb? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've already got five more days left, to be more specific from that. Alright, so... Oh yeah, we got 30 seconds this time around though, instead of the usual 60, which I will admit though right away, because as you can tell, this, um, obstacles, even for the Cloud Climb, can go a little bit longer now, especially noticeable how the fact that that way we actually introduce into ourselves amps, especially with these little Zap amps, then we could potentially try to be able to avoid them no matter what it will be. But still, it's incredibly easy, and plus it's really fast too. Alright, two more to go, so let's see what minigames that we might as well get after the, well, before we actually accomplish those last two stages, so... Um, must have gone for flipping out, but I decided... Stair scare, instead. Because I feel like this can go really, really fast and quick. As far as I was going to be thinking about this, so let's get to it. Hey Mario, how's it going? How's it going for this little um, experience going by the forms of Shroom City itself? But I'm out of here. While you're just gonna have to leave far behind and you die instantly. Well, at least as far as the actual um, just left far behind for me. But I'm still pretty much dominated as you expected or two. Oh wait, we've got one more uh, minigame left before we actually accomplish with the forms of the minigame attack. So with that being said, we've now reached to 100,000 coins. So, jeez. How much that a lot? Anyways, um, let's go do... Uh, no, not peek and sneak because that can get pretty tricky at times. But, on the other hand, Broom Zone. And suppose you notice all there's no um, sledge um, slides because sledge slides can get pretty difficult at times, even with ice physics. So, and in this mini game, all right here is the fact that we need to reach uh, up to ten thousand points, which I've already accomplished that from before in my previous attempt on this. So, hopefully, we can able to success or succeed for this. So, yeah, let's see how this goes, hey. Eh? I guess I should probably mention about this actually, is the fact that a friend of mine, Cap King 73, um, 74, 
that um, he recently now got himself his new uh, controller into his hands, but he forms of the not just the official Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, but just to be more specifically, the wired um, Pro Controller for the Switch. Which even then, uh, I know this sounds a little bit more, well, not so official or something like that. Well, gradually though, it's been made by um, Power A Company, which I've, I've actually um, immediately heard um, about the forms of Power A Company. Which even then, uh, aside from that, that's what I can really think about. I think the only version here that he's got is the forms of a Mario um, wired pro controller for the switch so that makes it pretty obvious with this solution there so anyways once you reach it at the um at the very end of minigame attack 5 15 sorry almost like five for some reason you actually claim yourselves 100,000 coins so i should get plenty of coins for the shops later on so with that being said let's move on to the second mode so hey welcome to the game room so as far as this mode suggests, it's going to be a Gamble Fest mode. So with that being said, let's go in and use... Uh, let's select Yoshi this time around though. Um, yeah, let's go for Yoshi then. Just to feel like he's going to be happy and huggy and doy and everything like that. But uh, at least we can able to actually expect to see how this will turn out. Welcome Yoshi, thank you for coming. So, yes, I know how this goes. Because basically, if we get inside, we actually have a uh, six... Uh, gambling mini games we can actually has uh, we can actually interact with. So with that being said, we've got you know uh, stop him or in this case uh, drop him and watch them and uh, well I'll explain more details on those. But hey, uh, let's go and get started by the forms of. I would normally try to do this in a chronological order just to be able to actually get these things um, out of the way. But I decided to be able to go for as a shuffle way to start things off with drop him first. So. Even though technically we've already played this before ever since, you know, in a minigame attack, so if that's the case, then yeah. So far my luck expires already from that specific gamble minigame at all, but hopefully I can get myself my chance. Oh, so close! Ah, so close again. And there he goes. And let's see how much coins I get. Just 10, okay. Let's see if I can get that again. Ooh, nice. That's actually pretty good. And I'll deserve 30 coins for my disposal, thank you. And I got it again, sweet. Seems like I'm doing pretty well with this, actually, compared to how it does it. Oh, nice. How much coins? Still 30, okay. Uh, I don't know how um, I could expect in that. Um, yeah, I didn't expect that either. Um, yeah, I wasn't really... Really, really timing of those. I don't know what do I think about it. Sorry for the lack of dialogue for this point, folks, because I just want to get this game finished before you're able to actually move on to the next Let's Play, including the likes of, um, even though I'm still coming back onto Sonic Unleashed eventually, in the forms of, um, well, for the 360 version of the Xbox 360 version of that game. Because of that, though, I'm decided to be able to go through some DLC stages coming up. So, with that being said, uh, because I decided to do some DLC stages until, well, before Nintendo E3 2018, including the likes of Microsoft and Sony, um, uh, E3 stuff is about to be on its horizon, so that I can discuss upon a lot of things before I'm able to actually decide to go ahead and get started with the forms of Sonic Unleashed DLC stages. So with that being in commonly in mind, then it should be pretty damn exciting, if I like to say so for myself right there, so... Um, I don't know about the fact that any forms of, um, um, I would classify for saying by the forms of back injury the likes of Mario Party Star Wars or something like that. That, uh, normally how the fact that Pinkie Pie or Diddy Kong mentioned about the E3 stuff in Dream back in last year. But I might as well see what happens there. So even though no, that could be far from potential right there. So, looks like I'm doing so well when it comes to, uh, watching so far. So let's go ahead and bet for 20 coins this time around, though. So let's see how it makes it a little bit for more of a... A challenge to it though, especially noticeable how the fact that, well, again, I was a really big fan of gamble based mini games because they felt kind of luck based at times, but even then, though, though, well, at least thankfully though, unlike the one, oh god, I think my eyes have started messing up. Ah, there goes my coins. Ah, could have hoped it would for my victory uh, claims for this matter though, but unfortunately I was gonna able to move on though, so. Yeah, that was about it, obviously, so. But if, um, I'm presuming if you don't have any of those coins with you, like if you get like zero coins for instance, um, you start the, the mode up by the forms of just only 10 coins to bet on, so with that being this in mind, 
Um, if you want to get every single, um, if you want to get too many coins, I highly suggest you go into um, uh, mini game attack. And either especially noticeable with Bowser Land, and either especially noticeable with the forms of uh, Door Bat or Door Dash, which I'll get to that in a moment. Well, at least um, until tomorrow's video, anyway, because you know we're going to be uploading videos in the um, during the day. But even then, no, that's as far as I can usually think about this. So. Okay, so there's nothing else rewarding when it comes to getting two of those shells, or even just mushroom itself, so... Yeah, it looks like that scratching man might actually take, uh... Well... Almost really unlucky, unfortunately, as you can tell right there, because even though I did not get every single, um... Star reactions. Well, I've only still got one star, but I didn't get a second one, or the third one, because you have to be... Right on with that specific amount of star icons you have to able to aim for, so... But again, this particular mode is just basically a gamble fest mode, which even then though, that I wasn't expecting to see that's what coming. In fact, our uh, game room looks very similar to the likes of how it does in the forms of um, Game Guy's game room, which even then, in back in during the likes of Mario Party 3, but except the fact that, um... I don't really think you can actually unlock everything, I don't think, in any forms of, um, you know, the game room in this game. Unlike the ones in, um, you know, in Mario Party 3 Game Guy, uh, game room. Uh, you basically unlock yourselves, uh, Mario's Puzzle Party Pro, if you manage to reach to 1,000 coins or something like that. Alright, so next up we have is the forms of the Stop-In. Well, at least specifically the Slot Machine type of syndrome. I wonder if I can get anything for that for once, although, sure, it's kind of cool at first, but it's just it feels kind of a waste of my opportunities there, even especially those who I just want to save up some of my coins up before I'm able to show you guys what the actual, um, uh, fifth mode of that specific challenge land mode actually works out to be, but even then, I'll explain more details on that as soon as we get to the next video, so... Because of that, though, I'm probably not gonna go through every single mode in one video, though, because even then, though, that... Sometimes it takes a little bit longer as far as I was expecting it to, but with that being said, um, yeah, that's all I can really talk about for that point right there, so, yeah, it looks like we haven't got as many rewards as I hope it will be, like, we've only got, uh, three clouds if I could expect so, and even for the forms of the green shells and all that stuff, but, yeah, it looks like we keep on getting green shells apparently though, but even I know, yeah, oh, this is stop them, okay, so, I think I get the points of my confusionist sake, so... Yeah, I will admit though, that minigame game take forever to load though, but anyways, let's go ahead and just place just one coin for each of the catalog right there. Money forms of, um, the star, uh, club, spade, heart, and diamond right there. Let's see if I can get some awards for everything, so let's see what we get. Oh, really? I haven't got anything of that about that. Oh, jeez. But again, I'm probably not going to spend on this mode for too long though, because, well, as you can probably guys can clearly tell about the fact that I've already become richer enough. So, if that's the case, then I'm probably not going to spend this for too long. Even especially noticeable how the fact that this is almost a 30 minutes, uh, mark. When it forms of this specific video alone. But even now, that maybe seems the case right there, so thank you for giving me something a little bit amount of coins, like just only two. But then again, it's because I was trying to save things up until we actually get into the, um, the shopping menu in the forms of the actual, uh, challenge lands. Because yes, it does have a, um, a currency, uh, moments with the forms of the actual coins uses is for. Because of how the fact that, oh, I've got myself five coins back. Okay, that's convenient. Um, anyway though, of, um, how the fact that you get yourselves, um, your coins for your disposal, and, um, you can able to actually use them as you're able to spend on, but in forms of extra stuff, which, again, I'll show you guys until when we get to the, um, the next video and onwards, so, yeah, it looks like we pretty much played every single Gamble minigames, except this last one, but in forms of Pearman, so... I wonder how random this one could be, because even then, though, that, um... Back in during the likes of this Shroom City playthrough, and I've pretty much dominated for this for the most part though, but let's see what happens there, we'll see what happens for this point folks, but even then though, I won't guarantee to be able to come back to that mode ever again, unless if I manage to play this on my spare own time with, well, at least not for long though, because I'm just... No matter what though, that uh, this is getting uh, pretty redundancy when it comes to my... Uh, commentary, running out of ideas and all that stuff, but still, it's incredibly, um, resistible, but anyway. 
Oh, star. I don't really think that's gonna help, mate. Nah, it's not gonna help, mate. Yep, it's not gonna, definitely not gonna help, mate. Oh, screw you, um, flower card. Oh, jeez. Actually, let's go ahead and just bet for, um, 10 coins for the star to make it all the way up to 100. And, um, 5 for the flower, but it forms of 25 coins. And, um, 5 coins for the mushroom for, um, you know, 20 coins betting. And Yoshi's egg for 15 coins. And, of course, clouds will actually give me 10 coins after so, so... Alright, so it looks like so far so good right there. And let's just hoping if I don't get screwed over by the forms of some of the un unlucky cards um, shuffling right there. Yeah, I got screwed over again. Oh, jeez. This doesn't look good to me, even for the forms of... Actually, you know what? I'm actually going to go for the last uh, 10 coins for this point right there. And I'm hoping I can get something rewarding after this. So with that being in mind... Then, I probably wouldn't mind about it too much though, I gotta must admit though, but anyways. Alright, so we get rid of the mushroom cards, and, oh, that's pretty good. And, that's gonna be alright, and, at least gonna be a star card after this. Oh, sweet. Hopefully I can get this last star card no matter what though, and this might not help me again. Nope, it's not gonna help me at all. You know what, screw it, I'm actually gonna do this one last time, so that I can get myself my other chance. And let's just stop right there, but it forms of, just to be more specifically, 100,000 coins, because I really need to save up, but it forms of the... I would say the most expensive item you can get, and it forms of the actual shopping mode in a challenge mode, so... On a challenge land, I should say, so anyways... Um, looks like so far so good right there, at least I repeat that for the most part though anyway. But, I won't guarantee it how the fact that there's gonna be plenty of times I might get unlucky moments there, so... Okay, um... Oh, Jesus Christ, no way in hell. No way in hell! Oh, jeez, I'm done. I'm done with um, Game Room, because... Screw all this gambling minigames. Well, the only two exceptions being Watch Them and the forms of Drop In, which I'll give those two gamble minigames some credit for. So with that being said, let's go ahead and leave now. Because I'm done with them gambling. Jeez, why does gambling minigames are gonna be around there? I have no flipping clue. I have no flipping clue. But anyways, I'm not gonna be bankrupted for this part.